Hello everyone, it's Dawn and welcome back to my channel. Well today we're going to crack on with our series from Paper Craft Society Box 58 and I'm going to do card number two. And we're going to use one of the things that we used yesterday, but in a different way, naturally. And I'll show you what we're going to do. So let's get on with it. I'm going to slide the box up there. I've made a bit of a start, but only a little bit. This is another six by four card and I have used the terracotta card and I've used this frame die to cut, I think I've got that the wrong way around, but never mind. Yes, I've used this frame die to cut out this frame here. And I've cut it out three times and I'm going to use the frame from the one we've just showed you or shown you. And then for the other two pieces, I've cut it out in two of the cactus papers and we're going to use not the frame, but the bits that fell out of the frame and we're going to fill it in. So I'm going to do that now, if I can find my glue, there we go. So I'm going to use tacky glue for this and I've already arranged these in different orders because as you can see, the gaps aren't the same, they're not all the same size. So I've arranged them in their correct sizes and in, in their order, I hope, so that they go in smoothly. So I'm just going to put some glue into the space, if I can get it to come out. This is a reason, oh, here we go. It's a reasonably new bottle, so it should behave itself. She says hopefully. So we're going to do that fairly quickly. So I've used one of the green, the green and white one, pattern paper, and I've used the pink and white, and I'm going to pop them in alternate spaces in their correct sizes. So this won't take long. We're going to do this quickly together. So it's quite fun watching it all slotted. It's a bit like doing a jigsaw puzzle. So, and this, if you use tacky glue, it does dry clear. So if it does ooze out at the end, if you do, if you're a bit ambitious with your glue, like I was, you can just swish it out and it'll dry clear. It won't show. So we'll try and be a bit more selective with this one. So try and get it to the edges so that it doesn't lift. And then when we've got all this into place, I'll show you what else we've used from the kit. I've used a few things from the kit this time including the alcohol markers that came with it. So I'll show you what I've done with that as soon as we've got this lot together. So we've got one half done already, so this won't take long to put together. This is another fairly quick and easy one. So let's, let's carry on. So that will slide in there. And again, just wipe the glue out as we need to. So we've just got two more pieces to pop in. I know I could have sped this up, but I'd rather not. I quite like watching things like this come together. So and I, it occurred to me that other people might like watching it come together too. So I didn't. So, and as we're nearly there, that didn't take long. And one more piece and the background is done. And then already we've got quite a pleasing or a very pleasing background. These are fabulous papers. I absolutely love them. I have to admit, I'll be honest, when I first saw it, and it was announced that it was going to be a cactus theme and I thought oh my goodness what on earth can you do with cactuses or cacti but I was pleasantly surprised I thought oh actually you know with a bit of imagination I didn't realize how fabulous the drawings were and how fabulous the stamps and the images were and what you can actually do with them so there we go there is our background all done in just under four minutes so that's not bad is it and the rest won't take much longer so I have used of the image stamps, if you like, I've used, let's just pop this out of the way. I've used this little one here. I haven't used the face this time. I might do in another one, but I haven't used the face. I've used the cactus as it is. And I've used this little pot down here. And I've colored the cactus with the green and the orange alcohol markers that came in the kit. And I'm, I've got a foam, pad on the back and I'm going to put that oh, that's just tucking out sticking out so we'll just tuck that in I'm not going to put it a bit of compositional advice don't line it up and put it on the line it doesn't look pleasant put it so that it's halfway or so that the line runs between so I'm going to put my cactus there and the pot what did I do with the pot oh there it is and I've done what I've done with this one there's another foam pad on it. I've already taken the backing tape off and I just 
this is an ordinary foam pad and I cut it in half. And I've coloured that with one of my own, or my one of my alcohol markers from my stash, from my collection, which I've been collecting for quite some years now. So I've got quite a few in various different brands, but it doesn't matter. As long as you get the size that you want, doesn't matter. So there we go. And, or this colour that you want. So I've got quite a wide range of pens now. And the only other stamp that I've used is, if I can find it, yeah, in fact, it's still got the ink on it. Thank you for sticking with me. I like that. And I've mounted, I've stamped that in an ordinary ink and I've mounted it onto one of the mustard yellow cards that came in the pack. And this is done with a piece of foam tape what, uh, that comes on a reel like this. So that's on a piece of foam tape. And, oh, I didn't put that on the back. I meant to put a piece of foam tape on the back. So we'll quickly do that now. So we'll pop a piece of foam tape on the back. That won't take long. Sorry about that. I thought I'd already done it. But that's all right. Job done. And we're going to put that. Now, that's, I haven't worked out where it's going to go yet. And since I've already taken, it could go about there. How about there? Yeah, let's put it there. There you go. Thank you for sticking with me. And it stands up really nicely. And there is our second card. All done. Now, just a little wor wor uh, word of warning here. I've, for want of a kinder word, or better word, Graham, as many of you know by now, I care for my husband, Graham. Yesterday, he was taken into hospital under emergency conditions. He had severe breathing difficulties and he was, well, to be honest, he was barely alive when we got him into the ambulance. But I'm pleased to say he's a little bit better now. I had They kicked me out because I've been there all day. And they told me to come home and have a rest. But I did go back in the afternoon. But he was a little better. He was breathing. He had oxygen. But he was still quite weak. And there were other complications, which I won't bore you with now. But he's still in hospital. But he's stable, which is the main thing. I shall be going back later. So depending on how things go, I'm hoping to complete my five cards in five days. But because of are changing in circumstances I can't guarantee it so I will try and do tomorrow's card that'll probably be okay but after that I'm not quite sure what's happening so I'll do my best to complete this card we will get the five cards done I promise you but it might not be in five consecutive days it just depends on how we get on with Graham so I'll be back hopefully tomorrow should be okay unless things take a horrible turn for the worse but I should be able to get tomorrow's card done okay but I shall keep you informed at every stage I promise and I'll be back hopefully tomorrow with our third project. And until then, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing, those who do. If you watch this video for the first time and you're enjoying it, or if you saw yesterday's and today's, do please do hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell. If you've enjoyed this video, I'd love it if you give me a thumbs up. All of this is free. It doesn't cost anything. All that does, it lets YouTube know that you're interested in projects like this and it gets our videos out to other people so that more people can see them. So that's the only reason we do that. It doesn't cost anything. So I will see you hopefully tomorrow with our third project. In the meantime, thank you again for watching. Take care, everybody. Have fun. And as always, happy crafting. Bye bye for now.